The new Pokemon Pocket TCG is finally here through a soft launch. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think about it, but first, what exactly is this? It is when you take a Pikachu and you mix it with Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, which you then mix it with Marvel Snap, and you now have Pokemon Pocket TCG, which is a much more simplified version of the Pokemon TCG. You are also getting two free packs every day at no cost, which if you start now at the soft launch, which I'll tell you how to do, you're gonna be about $60 to $100 worth of packs ahead of everyone else when they start the global launch. October 30th is when it starts. Also, you get to show off your collection. And I want you to sub on over to Decayed Pokemon, where I'm gonna have a $100 pack opening by the time you jump on over there. And if you hop on over into the Discord, we are going to be showcasing how to install Pokemon Pocket early at the top of the channel. In addition to that, as you can see right there, we're gonna have a $100 giveaway in the pinned comment. All you have to do is post your favorite Pokemon within Discord to enter the $50 giveaway, and then enter the second separate $50 giveaway Way over on the Pokey Pocket subreddit, where again you just post your favorite Pokemon. Now, without further ado, let's hop right into the game and tell you my opinion of this and what's going on. All right, so first of all, Pokemon Pocket, how casual is this? It is super casual. If we're talking about Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links, they have a competitive ladder where you have to get King of Games. You can go from, you know, Diamond, Platinum, Gold, Silver, all the way up to King of Games. In this game, Believe it or not, there's no ranked ladder. It, you know, that's a bit controversial, but I believe that Fortnite on release also didn't have a ranked ladder either, so maybe they will be adding it later, but there's nothing official on them adding it later. What is official is they will be adding trading to the game officially, which is something that's not in Marvel Snap and not in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Also in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, there's a world championship for it. I don't think there is one for Marvel Snap. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. For Pokemon Pocket, I don't believe there are any plans for this to be having its own world championship. Also in Duel Links, you have the Duelist Cup or the KC Cup, which is a 72 hour event to even be invited to Worlds. There's nothing crazy competitive like that within this game. So what exactly is this? Let's hop in, let's go. All right, all right, we are live in, live playing. So this game wants to hook you by every 12 hours, you have a pack that you could open. What happens if you log in 15 hours? Are you losing time? No, but if you log in longer than 24 hours, then you are losing time. So it will store up to two packs at most at a time. Now, I bought the Battle Pass, which is uh, about $12 USD, which gives you an additional one extra pack every day. And the game is starting off with just one pack type, which is the Genetic Apex, but there's three different versions of it. And I believe above the pack, these are the exclusive cards that you can get specifically through the Mewtwo pack. So if you care about these cards, you get the Mewtwo pack. Let's click on the Pikachu. If you care about the Pikachu pack exclusively, otherwise the majority of the pack, it is shared between the three packs. So you're looking for these cards and once you get them, you wanna swap on over to the other pack. You can only have two of a card. So I'm gonna be starting off with, let's do the Mewtwo pack. How about that? Yes, let's get opening. Let's see what it looks like. Open, open, open. Yep, yep, yep. And I'll show you a duel and all that good stuff. All right, you get to select your pack from here, right? You could spin the carousel <laughs> as if this even matters. Let's click on this pack, sure. And a pack is worth about $1. If you spend $1, it's not enough to get a pack, but if you spend $20, it's enough to get about 20 packs. Does that make sense? Because you get the bundle deal. Let's swipe this open. All right, so the rarity system. The lowest rarity is one diamond, and then two diamond, then three diamond, then four diamond, and then there's stars. There's one star, two star, three star, and then there's super duper rare crown rarity. So there you go, those are like, what, seven, eight different rarities? Let's open this up, swoop it. Snom, Grimer, and uh, what the heck is this, huh? Okay, <laughs> let's go. So after you open up a pack, the game really wants to showcase to you what was added to your Pokédex. So it's gonna be highlighting that you got a Grimer and a Wimmiscott added to your Pokédex. It really does feel like the game is focusing a lot more on collecting than the dueling, but we will get to the dueling. So wow, you got 180 cards collected, and if it coincides with some fun fact in game, they're gonna also tell you that, sure. If you open one pack at a time, it takes a while because all these animations that are happening right now keeps on happening over and over. They really wanna focus on the one pack opening experience 
one at a time. So let's uh, swoop this up into our Pokédex. So this is me so far playing for free. Besides the battle pass I did purchase for about 12 bucks, I only got one additional pack. But otherwise, this is what I've been getting from about one day of playing. There's 226 different cards to be collecting. Now, in addition to pack opening, I guess we could have another pack opening. One more pack, one pack, yes. So you don't collect packs, you collect hours. And the hourglass is considered one hour per hourglass. So I'm three and a half hours away from opening a pack. So if I spend four hours of hourglasses, which you get for free by playing the game, you could then open a pack early. So let's do that. Let's spend four hourglasses to boost it up to then open another pack. Yep, yep, yep. All right, pick this one, sure. There's another way to gain cards in addition to the pack opening. I'll talk about the rental deck system also. All right, trash, trash, trash. I'm looking for the four diamond rarities, which I'm obviously not getting. I think I only have one four diamond rare rarity card. There is a pity system, I'll also show you that. So let's skip this, skip that. And now let's get into the other way to get cards. The in addition to opening packs, which you, you should be getting two a day, you get to click on Wonder Pick. Wonder Pick is a 12 hour timer to get the maximum five Wonder Picks. And this allows you to look at someone else's pack opening for a limited time, and you could randomly pick one of the cards that were from their pack, so you have a one in five chance to get what you want. And from what I'm understanding here, you don't want to pick the ones that cost two, one, or even three. You want the ones that cost four, but they're not always gonna be available. I don't think so. Wait, this dude got two, three uh, diamond cards, so maybe it only goes up to three. So that's a two, that's a two, that's a one. So the one should be the crappiest cards in the pack. We don't care about that. That's a one, that's a two, that's a one, that's a one. Is there anything that costs three? This one costs three, because it's got the super rare Pidgeot in here. So it looks like we're gonna try to open from that. A one, a two, another three. A wheezing, a super wheezing, sure. And then these are expired packs, but you can pay a premium currency, I believe, to restore the pack, but I, I don't care about that. So let's open up the super rare Pidgeot. Let's try to get it. The first time you do this, it's rigged for you to guarantee get the card that you want. That's why the card that you want actually is not that good, but uh, just so you know, I, I ruined Gia's excitement by letting her know it's gonna be guaranteed. All right, all right, all right, let's go. You know, this is probably rigged. I don't know, but it's gonna now tell you where the good card was to make you feel bad, apparently. Let's see, <laughs> okay. All right, let's, oh, I was one away. I'm sure you're always one away from where the card. So if you pick here, the rare card will never be in the bottom right because they want to let you know that you are so close. There's also free currency. I'm not sending a thanks to you, no thank you. The free currency could add more wonder picks to your thing. So I have a 181. Wow, uh, that's a lot. So I'm not gonna be recovering that right now. So this is the home page where you have the pack opening, the wonder pick as your main things. You also wanna continually look at your missions to unlock more pack openings. So complete all, sure. And now let me show you the pack pity. So if we go to the pack opening here, only on the pack opening, I've, I've opened 155 packs. So if I click on this, that's my currency, 155. So the crappiest card, if you open up 35 packs, you're guaranteed a crappy card. A two star rarity, a two diamond rarity, it's 70 packs. A three diamond rarity is 150 packs. And if I want a four diamond rarity card like this Venusaur, which I could play two of in my deck, I have to either randomly get it, which there's no direct pity to guarantee it and get it like there is in Duel Links where you then get to reset the box. It's gonna be completely random. Otherwise, every 500 packs, which is either, uh, what, 250 days if you're completely free or about $500 is when I could get this Venusaur. And I think it's kind of scummy when you try to look at the card, it shows not obtainable. That, uh, come on, I was about to yell, Konami, Nintendo, what the heck? So if you wanna look at this card, nope, too bad. You can't look at it unless you own the card or if you're looking at someone else's collection that they published. So we're gonna get to that and also to the ranked matchmaking, which uh, you'll see the situation there. There is another currency. So that's the pity on the packs. There's another thing you're generating, which is through the shop. 
daily gifts can be claimed here, sure. So tickets I've been getting for pretty much for free and you could buy um, some crappy stuff here. Well, some extra pack openings, that's not that crappy. And I think this is, yeah, this is just cosmetics, supporter cards, these are relatively already common. And then you have emblems, cosmetic, you also have uh, more cosmetics and then other. All right, so nothing under other. And if you wanna purchase Poke Gold, that's how you're gonna get the additional packs. So right now it's in New Zealand dollars. 200 New Zealand dollars is about $220 in USD. So yeah, uh, New Zealand, the fake currency, right, I'm, I'm kidding. All right, now let's move on over to this page. This is my collection and you could do a binder, a display board and your decks. So there's a thing, there's a free to play feature with the decks, which is kind of weird. It's kind of cool. And also it seems kind of scummy in a way. So let me get to that. I guess my first time going in here. I don't want to, I don't want to do this. Okay. Okay. Leave me alone. Now let's click on decks and there's a thing called rental decks. I guess it's not over here. I have to go on over to the battles. So this is the battle area. I click on decks here, rental decks. These rental decks, if you pull the highlight card of the rental deck, it unlocks the rental deck, but then you have limited uses with the deck, including losing to the computer. So what's really been common with other gacha games is when you play against the computer and you lose or reset the duel, you don't lose anything. Your, your, your currency, your stamina, whatever is happening in that game, it's a full reset. But if you attempt to duel the computer with the rental deck and you, let's say you, it happened to me, I accidentally clicked on one of my rental decks and I didn't want to. So I immediately conceded because it was a duel I didn't want to even partake in. It used up, that's it. So once this goes to zero, I only have three more uses on the Nidoqueen, Nidoking deck. And, but the rental decks are also very powerful and are helping me defeat the most difficult challenges in the solo PVP against the computer. So it's PVE where otherwise I don't have the cards to beat the computer because on my free to play account at the moment before I do my $100 pack opening, which will be on my Pokemon channel, I, I don't really have much that's playable. My decks really suck. So if we go back to the PVP here, let's see the options. Because you may not believe me that there really is no ranked matchmaking. You click on versus and you could do a private match against another player where you will create a code and uh, yeah, so it generates it automatically. I then give you the code and then we play directly. So a big issue, number one right here is there's no spectating. How am I gonna run tournaments? <laughs> I don't know. So I can't even run tournaments in this game if I can't spectate people dueling. That's a major issue. Now, would a spectate feature even be that popular? It wouldn't, but it's not about how popular it would be among regular users. It's important for community building where one person like me could broadcast it to thousands of people, me being the one spectator, and then you all now have a competitive Pokemon scene where you could see the best decks and the, you know, all, all the good stuff. But I don't know if that aligns with the intent of this game. I don't think they want this game to be competitive. If they want you to be, if you want to be competitive, I think they want you to play the Pokemon TCG Live, which Honestly, it's not really polished. It's kind of a crappy experience for my opinion here. I, I did play it a, a bit. I, I have many hours on it. I, I pretty much on like a 10, 20 win streak playing Charizard EX, which is a top tier deck. And then I built, I believe uh, the, the, the Lugia deck. Lugia deck is also really good. So what's really good about the Pokemon TCG Live compared to this is you can't spend money on it. It's completely free to play. And they basically, every time a nationals happens or a big tournament, they give you those deck lists for free. So you are playing the top tier decks right away for free if you care about that. And I think that's supposed to just segue you into the physical card game where this is supposed to be its own thing. So uh, that's the private battle with another person. And then here's random matchmaking. There's no bronze, rookie, silver, gold. There's nothing. If there's an MMR rating, it's hidden. There's nothing. In fact, you could choose, do you want to play against beginners or play against good players? That's it. <laughs> That's it. That is it. So I'm going to start a battle and then I'm just going to immediately surrender and let's see if I lose rating, right? Let's see. Searching for an opponent. I click TCG. And because this is soft launch in New Zealand, where the instructions to get into this is in the Discord will be in the pinned comment, this fails for me a lot. I don't think a lot of people are really dueling at the moment. Oh, opponent found, all right. Uh, Donna, another TCG player, sure. And then I'm just gonna surrender right away and I'm gonna show you the game play through against the computer. 
All right, yes, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. That's our default little interaction there, going first. I guess I could show you a little bit of gameplay here. I'm, I'm playing a, an absolute basic starter deck, so I'm gonna lose. So I'm not gonna really even put thought in my plays. I'm gonna put my Ponyta here, and then we're just gonna put a bunch of stuff into the back row. So, you know, don't say, oh my gosh, you're misplaying. I, I'm sure I am. I don't, I don't even know what the, this is a starter deck. So we then start our battle, sure. Wow, execute. Wait, I'm a fire deck against, I, I, with my starter deck, I may just win. You know what? I may as well just play this. Let's play this. So every single turn, you gain an energy unless you're going first. If you're going first, you get to benefit from an additional card draw, but you do not get to, I, you know, I can't flare for 20 damage here. So let's end our turn. So I would think that going second at the moment is a lot better because they're going to be the first one to attack. They're going to be plus 20 damage ahead. And a trainer card like that normally would be drawing, let's say, seven cards from your deck. Well, we're playing 20 card decks instead. Pokeball, sure, <laughs> okay. Uh, randomly getting a character from the deck. As you can see here, 20 minute timers. Compared to Duel Links, Duel Links duels and even I would say Marvel Snap are quicker than these duels. Of course, it's not gonna go the full 20 minutes. They have 90 seconds on their turn to finish their turn. But still, these duels go on for a long, while so, all right my turn sure again i'm playing a starter deck you're guaranteed your energy every single turn let's put this we're gonna have 40 damage onto that and let's do our damage let's get flaring <laughs> starter deck in pvp let's see if i win or lose what happens and me playing a starter deck if donna's playing a good deck maybe donna should knock me out very quickly maybe it's good for donna to perform a retreat right now so, so I, before I execute the execute, waiting for the opponent. And what I'm thinking about doing with this game, the future of this game for me, that's actually a really good card, gaining life. But when I'm dealing 40 damage, I don't think gaining life is good. Unless you evolve into an executor. Holy moly. So uh, let's hold this and I guess I can move the card. That's also really cool. We'll look at the collections of other people and we'll see the super rare cards there. Flip a coin, sure. So you know what? I'm actually gonna get to that early after the executor attacks. Boom, clapped. Okay, I'm gonna concede so we can get to the rest of the video. Good job, Donna. And uh, you'll see that I don't have a ranking. Concede, yeah, concede. Defeat, damn, you got me, you got me. So anyway, I was saying my plan for this October 30th when it officially globally launches is that I'll be playing on stream on twitch.tv slash decade with the top tier decks. I already have all the good decks and Maybe we'll try to host some kind of tournament or, or like, you know, duel me, King of the Hill style. I don't really know because I can't spectate you dueling unless I'm in the duel myself. Did not acquire any awards. I'll send a thanks. All right, there you go. A friend request, sure. Thank you, Donna. And let's see what happened. I My rating didn't change. There may be a hidden rating in the background. And I guess if you lose under this, you may want to switch to beginner. So you tell me, I was talking to G about this with Fortnite where I think it was okay for Fortnite to have a casual mode without a ranked mode because it's a hundred other players. Getting that victory royale was still very difficult even with the casual mode. But in Pokemon this, where you just have the casual mode only, it's just one other opponent, it doesn't seem like there's gonna be much incentive to collect the best cards and then do well. And you may be thinking, that's a good thing, that's the, Genshin, that's the Honkai Star Rail where they don't have real PvP so you can't cry about pay to win. So maybe they don't want that here. They're like, no, 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 just focus on collecting your daily pack opening. No stress or pressure to get the best decks because there's no ranking anyway. And if I were to go to my friends list, you'll see. So friends, uh, Donna, I don't know if Donna has to accept my friend request. So let's see how much PvP Donna has been doing. While there's no rating, there is a battle record. If I click on the battle record, Donna has won four times. Points. I don't know what is points a rating? Maybe that's considered a rating, like, you know, instead of bronze, diamond? I, I don't really know. What? Uh, let's see uh, what, what I added G on my friends list, but she's not online. So I guess I can't see her at the moment. Maybe I could click on my own profile somewhere. I, I have no idea on how to do that, but let's get to the other parts of this video here. So. Here's the community showcase feature where it says trading coming soon. And in the Discord, we're gonna have a trading channel situation where if you want to initiate a trade, we're gonna be able to set that up. Community showcase. So now this is where the cool stuff comes into play. This is where, oh, we could see Donna's collection. Nice. So your friends you'll wanna be sharing. This is what the coolest part of the game. This, are you ready? This is Mewtwo. 
Are you ready? You're not ready. I'm gonna boost the volume for this. Burst yourself. That's pretty cool. That is definitely cool. I think so. So there you go. You wanna collect cards like that. That's a triple star rarity where we were getting diamond cards. I don't have, a, I, don't, I think I may have a one star rarity. Click on the Mewtwo here. Maybe I could show you a crown version, which is also pretty cool. So you can move this around. This is a four diamond rarity. If I could find someone with a crown rarity, those are the rarest cards. I think even more rare than that cool card we just saw there. So everyone just wants to show off this card. They're very happy about that. I'm looking for the crown rarity. This is a one, one, uh, one star rarity, sure. The, yeah, it is very rare. I did see it earlier and it was a Mewtwo. It's like, it's a crown rarity. It definitely, I think, looks the coolest out of all of these. So let's see, let's see. I guess maybe no one has on this collection or uh, maybe you just gotta wait. No, 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 no. That is the star rarities. This looks pretty cool though. So yeah, th these are on the level, I would say, of Marvel Snap Cosmetics. Duel Links, when it released, was horrible on cosmetics, and I believe it still is, where they have pixelated squares for the prismatic rarity. So that's why I say this game takes Marvel Snap and Duel Links into one, removes the competitive aspect from both of those games, by the way, because they both have ranked matchmaking. And then there you go, just super casual Pokemon card game. So if you're a competitive player, this game may just be a complete 100% skip for you, or maybe get you interested in the competitive vert. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's that's the super crown rarity. There you go. The rarest version of a card. Wow. That does look incredible. As you can see the crown rarity there. I don't think there's a crown two or three. Maybe they add them later, but damn. They, this is the rare. This is what you'd want. This is it. And I think this is the equivalent of $500 worth of packs. So good, good luck on that. I know we talked about the pity rarity earlier where that was actual 500, but the actual chance of pulling this, I, you know, someone brought it up. It's some zero point something percent where you would need 500 to actually get it. And I guess that's pretty much it for the, the game. There you go, collection, no ranked matchmaking, no ratings. It's all about collecting. And I'll do a video where I spent 100 bucks on the game. We'll do another pack opening here to end this off. And then you let me know on the new Pokemon channel what is good and what you'd want to see me be posting about. So make sure you go on over to that new Pokemon channel I'm going to have in the pinned comment. And also join the $100 giveaway on Reddit and Discord also in the pinned comment. So let's click on, let's go to Mewtwo. I mean, the Mewtwo thing's too damn cool to not try to get. All right, let's go. Open the pack. So I could either wait 11 hours or I could spend 12 of my hourglasses. Let's spend it. Let's do it. Give me something lucky. Let's go. Let's go. And I'll be honest. I am. I'm disappointed. No spectate. No ranked matchmaking. What the hell? It just seems like that you don't even need to ask for those features that those should be baseline expectations. And it seems like they are purposely saying, no, 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 we don't want to cause stress and anxiety to the players. We just want them collecting the cards and the dueling is just a side part of the game. So I don't really know how long I'm going to stick with this unless you all really love it. And then this could be some extra content I also produce in addition to Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, bite, 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 Thunder Spear. And with playing Pokemon TCG Live with the top tier decks, I would say in the order of complexity of card games, there's Pokemon TCG, then there's magic, maybe above here, the, the, in terms of complexity. And then Yu-Gi-Oh is up here. So Pokemon TCG all the way down here, and then Yu-Gi-Oh all the way up here in terms of complexity. But maybe the complexity of Yu-Gi-Oh turns you off. You don't like that. You want a more simple, less stressful, lower anxiety version of a card game. And that's exactly what this would be. So maybe this, the sole purpose of this game is to not even be your main game. They don't want this to be anyone's main game. They just want you to look at your phone and you get an alert saying, hey, I have a pack to open. Well, maybe I don't have time to open it right now, 
I'll open it maybe later. As long as you are opening up your phone within 24 hours, you're not gonna overlap and lose pack timer because otherwise it does cap at 24 hours. Which compared to other uh, gotcha games, is that how that works with the, let's say, something like Honkai Star Rail? Can you wait up to 24 hours? I think that game caps at like 18 hours. So for this game being 24 hours of leeway where you don't have to log in without over capping your resource to get your free currency, I think that's pretty good, but you tell me. And there you go. That's it for the video. I'll see you on twitch.tv slash decade on the release day of this if I stream this. And I would really hope that they add a spectate feature so I could do some tournaments and show you some top deck lists. Otherwise, in the Discord, we have a five win streak channel. This is the uh, solo mode where you could do the expert battles, which I also didn't show that, but you know, you already pretty much saw throw stooling. And I will be having the $100 opening in the new Pokemon channel. Let's go.